everyone welcome back to another video and here we are about to close things out with Eden for the final time so here we're back in the empty though I don't suppose we can really call it that anymore but here we are with Reen and Gaia and it, this is just a small part of the empty but there's a good chance that it could blossom into something else in just a few years time so oh look there's the gun blade I didn't notice it till now but the quest is called where I belong by the look on her face, Rin can scarce believe that the empty is restored. So pretty. I still can't believe this is happening. It's a dream come true. I just wish the others were here to see it. I'll be sure to tell them all about it. Yes, I suppose that's the next best thing. Hold on, you might even be able to take something with you to show them. I bet the fruit that grows here could be used to make all sorts of delicious treats. You could even make something yourself, Rain. That's a great idea, but my cooking can be a bit hit or miss. Maybe once we get back to the Crystarium, I'll ask for some advice. Actually, I wanted to ask something. When you say the others, do you mean Thancred, the Bookworm, and Urianja, your knight in shining armor? <laughs> Well, she's trying. <laughs> no, it's the other way around. Oh, is it? Hmm. Seems my memory is even less reliable than it was before. The main thing is, the whispering in my head has stopped. So I shouldn't have any more bouts of amnesia. Even so, there's a part of me that'll miss hearing the fairy's voice. I know how you feel, Gaia. Anyway, we've all been through rather a lot, so why don't we head back to civilization for some much-needed rest? All right, leave the piloting to me. Uh, so I guess we gotta leave now, sadly. I wonder if we're going to be seeing more of Reen and Gaia in the future. I hope so. I would hate to say goodbye to them. They're such great characters. I know she insisted on piloting the Sky Slipper, but given her recent exertions, perhaps it wasn't such a good idea? Ah, she's fine. I understand that keeping the Sky Slipper here allows us to save fuel from traveling all the way back to Morsuk. But can't we just carry a bit extra? It's not easy crossing the desert in these heels, you know. I seem to remember you weren't too enthused when I suggested buying some nice, sensible walking shoes. Come to think of it, maybe we should rest here for a while. You must be tired after all that piloting. I'm fine. Besides, I had the two of you to keep me company. It was over before I knew it. Taking in the scenery with the wind in my hair really helped clear out the cobwebs, too. Perhaps I should see about getting my very own sky slipper. What? You can't just buy one. Even if you could, that would cost a fortune. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be my Umorian upbringing speaking. I'll have you know I'm almost as comfortable in more humble surroundings, like more souk, for example. That reminds me, it's time we made our way there and told Yalford all about, well, everything. You know, we could probably just carry everyone back if they wanted to, because we have, like, a multiple seater mount. But... I can't really tell. I mean, it still looks like dead sand out there. I, I do know that it's still supposed to be only patches, like, all across the empty that are thriving again. It's going to take years for it to completely spread to every part of the empty. Yeah, so unfortunately we don't see any like beautiful green grass or trees or even the rest of the desert sand beyond this point. Oh well. I I'm sure that they'll all be happy with just a few patches for right now.
Now all we gotta do is set about repopulating the Earth. <laughs> all the unimaginable things we've seen in the empty, it's nice to get back to a bit of normality for a change. I'll say one thing for about this place. For better or worse, I'll never forget the smell. Harsh. Welcome back. I take it all as well in the empty? It is now. Not everything went quite as we had planned, to put it mildly, but we managed to revive the ambent ether. Now all we need to do is wait for the changes to become widespread. Truly? Wonderful! Just wonderful! I shall share the tidings with our inner circle, and perhaps it is time more people knew of your expeditions as well. Of course, we'll continue to monitor the situation, but I'm sure it won't be long before we can allow members of the citizenry to make their own forays into the empty. I'm pleased to say that I too have some good news to share. Our investigators and Yulemore have finally found information pertaining to Gaia's true identity. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, you took the words out of my mouth, Reed. As it pertains to matters of a private nature, the information is being treated as highly confidential, so I haven't actually looked at it myself, but I imagine it includes Gaia's real name. To be honest, I prefer not to know. But why? You see, I've come to learn a lot about my past, even before my life in Yomor. I know now that I'm the reincarnation of Lodric, an Asian, and Mitron, the one who was transformed into Eden, was someone very special to me. For a hundred years, Mitron called out to me in the hope we'd be reunited, but there was no answer. Even so, Mitron held on to those precious memories of our life together, and stopped at nothing to make them reality once more. I know now that Mitron wanted the same as us, wanted the world to be as it once was. Yes, it's a shame that things turned out the way they did. In those hundred years of solitude, that dream became an obsession. I would have likewise succumbed to the darkness within if it weren't for Reen and Claire. If someone had also been there for Mitron, who knows what might have happened. That's why from now on, I want to help those in need, to give their dreams a chance to come true. For me, the name Gaia symbolizes hope, and though each of our lives may be a drop in the great river of time, hope springs eternal. Gaia. So, I'm sorry. While I appreciate your efforts to find my past, I'm looking to the future now, as Gaia. No need to apologize, Miss Gaia. As long as you are happy, then so are we. Right, I expect my colleagues will be keen to turn their attention to the empty. If you'll excuse me, I have expeditions to arrange. Till next time. So, what should we do now? Come on, Rain, don't tell me you've forgotten. The festival at the Crystarium, remember? And don't even think about leaving me out, I wouldn't miss it for the world.
Oh, so cute. I bet we get another quest involving that festival because we keep hearing about it. I can't wait to see what happens. But I think that's it, it looks like. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm so happy, <laughs> but I'm sad at the same time. All right. Oh, it looks like we have one other quest, and I think that's going to be unlocking the extreme mode or savage mode. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and loved the little ending here with Ring Gaia and the Warrior of Lights with with Reen, Gaia, and Eden. So until next time, everyone, take care and have a great rest of your day.